Did you know that true wealth has nothing to do with your bank account? In a world obsessed with material possessions and societal status, it's easy to forget that the most profound riches lie within us. If you want to unlock a life of genuine fulfillment, you need to shift your focus from accumulating more to cultivating what truly matters. Today, we're diving into the transformative wisdom of Stoic philosophy, a guide that offers timeless insights on redefining wealth, embracing simplicity, and ultimately finding lasting joy. As we explore concepts like cultivating inner wealth and aligning your life with your values, you'll discover that the path to true richness is not only accessible, but also deeply rewarding. So, let's embark on this journey together and uncover the keys to living a life of purpose, authenticity, and inner freedom. Number 1. Redefining Wealth in Stoicism Imagine for a moment the feeling of absolute freedom. Picture yourself waking up each day, not burdened by the weight of expectations or the incessant chase for more. Instead, you find joy in the simple things, a warm cup of coffee, the laughter of loved ones, or the beauty of a sunrise. This is the essence of a wealth redefined by Stoicism. In a world where success is often measured by the size of our bank accounts and the luxury of our possessions, Stoic philosophy invites us to reconsider what it truly means to be wealthy. It encourages us to shift our perspective from external validation to an internal state of contentment. This shift can evoke a profound sense of happiness as we begin to realize that true richness lies not in what we own, but in how we live our lives. The Stoics teach us that by cultivating our inner resources, our character, wisdom and virtues, we can experience a deeper, more fulfilling form of wealth that transcends material possessions. As we delve deeper into this concept, nostalgia might wash over you. Think back to simpler times. Perhaps your childhood, when joy was found in playing outside with friends or exploring the world without the burden of responsibilities. Remember how happiness was tied to moments of connection and play rather than the latest gadget or fashion trend. In those moments, wealth was not about what you had, but about the experiences that filled your days with joy. The Stoics, like Epictetus and Seneca, remind us of this truth. They encourage us to look back at what once brought us joy and to reconnect with those values that make life rich and meaningful. They understood that our society's fixation on material wealth often distracts us from the true sources of happiness that reside within. Curiosity arises as we contemplate this shift in perspective. What if we could redefine our understanding of wealth? What if we could learn to find contentment in what we already have, rather than always seeking more? This curiosity can lead to deeper self-reflection. Imagine asking yourself what wealth means to you. Is it financial security? Or could it be the freedom to pursue your passions? Could it be the ability to spend quality time with family and friends? The Stoics urge us to explore these questions, to seek out the definitions that resonate with our authentic selves, rather than those dictated by societal expectations. This exploration opens up new avenues of thought, challenging us to consider how we can incorporate Stoic principles into our lives to cultivate true wealth. Number two. The concept of enough. What does it feel like to finally let go of the relentless pursuit of more? Picture the relief that washes over you when you realize that you have enough. In today's fast-paced world, we're constantly bombarded with messages that tell us we need to accumulate more. More possessions, more achievements, more recognition. But imagine the joy of breaking free from that cycle the Stoics teach us that understanding what is enough can lead to profound happiness. This concept is liberating. It shifts our focus from external validation to internal satisfaction. When we grasp the idea of enough, we unlock the door to genuine contentment, 
Realizing that we don't need to keep chasing after elusive markers of success, this newfound clarity can evoke a deep sense of happiness as we learn to appreciate the wealth that already exists in our lives. Yet, as we reflect on this idea, a sense of nostalgia may seep in. Consider the times in your life when you felt genuinely satisfied with what you had. Perhaps it was a holiday spent with family, enjoying homemade meals and shared stories, or a quiet evening spent in the company of close friends, where laughter flowed freely and worries faded into the background. In those moments, you likely weren't thinking about what you lacked instead. You were fully present, savoring the richness of connection and experience. The Stoics remind us that wealth consists not in the accumulation of material goods, but in recognizing the sufficiency of our lives as they are. They encourage us to revisit these memories, prompting us to acknowledge that our deepest satisfaction often arises from experiences rather than possessions. As you ponder this concept, curiosity begins to bubble up. What does enough look like for you? Have you taken the time to truly assess your needs versus your wants? The Stoics challenge us to reflect deeply on our lives and determine what genuinely brings us joy and fulfillment. What if you could create a life centered around what is truly enough for you? This journey of discovery can be both enlightening and transformative. By asking ourselves these questions, we allow curiosity to guide us toward a deeper understanding of our values, leading to choices that align with our authentic selves. This process fosters a sense of empowerment as we take control of our definitions of success and satisfaction. Number 3. Practicing Voluntary Poverty What if embracing discomfort could lead you to a deeper understanding of true wealth? Imagine willingly stepping back from the comforts of modern life for just a moment. This might sound daunting, but the Stoics advocate for the practice of voluntary poverty, a powerful exercise in resilience and gratitude. As you envision this scenario, consider the freedom that comes with releasing the grip of material attachments. Picture yourself simplifying your life, stripping away the excess, and learning to find joy in the essentials. This practice isn't about glorifying poverty, rather. It's about cultivating a profound appreciation for what we have and recognizing that our well-being doesn't depend on our possessions. This journey may evoke feelings of happiness as you realize that you can thrive with less than you once thought necessary. As you reflect on this idea, nostalgia might wash over you once more. Think back to the moments in your life when simplicity reigned supreme. Perhaps you recall camping trips where you thrived on the basics, food, shelter and the company of loved ones. Or maybe you remember periods of your life when you had fewer distractions and obligations, allowing you to immerse yourself fully in the present moment. The Stoics encourage us to reconnect with those memories, reminding us that often the most profound experiences come not from abundance, but from appreciating the simple joys in life. This nostalgia can inspire you to reflect on the richness of those moments, prompting you to seek similar experiences in your current life. Curiosity then emerges as you consider how practicing voluntary poverty could shift your perspective. What insights might you gain from stepping outside of your comfort zone? Imagine designating a week to live simply, perhaps by limiting your budget and foregoing non-essential luxuries. How would that experience shape your understanding of what you truly need? This curiosity can lead you to explore new ways of living, enabling you to discover the freedom that comes from detaching yourself from material concerns. By embracing discomfort, you may uncover strengths and resources within yourself that you never knew existed. The stoic practice of voluntary poverty invites us to question our assumptions about wealth and security, ultimately leading us toward a richer, more fulfilling life. Number 4. Cultivating Inner Wealth 
Imagine a life where your happiness isn't contingent on external circumstances. Picture waking up each day with a sense of peace that radiates from within, unshakable by the chaos of the outside world. This is the promise of cultivating inner wealth, a central tenet of Stoic philosophy that encourages us to prioritize the development of our character and virtues over the pursuit of material possessions. The joy of realizing that true richness comes from within can be profoundly uplifting. You may feel a rush of happiness as you begin to understand that your value is not defined by your bank account or social status, but by the quality of your thoughts, actions and relationships. As you reflect on this idea, nostalgia may take hold. Consider the times in your life when you felt most fulfilled, not when you achieved a significant milestone, but during those quiet moments of connection, authenticity and self-reflection. Perhaps it was during a heartfelt conversation with a friend, a moment of kindness extended to a stranger, or even a solitary walk in nature where you felt a deep connection to the world around you. The Stoics understood that these moments, rich in meaning and authenticity, are the true markers of a wealthy life. They remind us to cherish and cultivate the inner qualities that bring us lasting satisfaction, rather than being distracted by the fleeting allure of material wealth. Curiosity emerges as you ponder how you might begin to cultivate your inner wealth. What practices can you implement to nurture your character and virtues? Number 5. Mindful Consumption What if the key to a more fulfilling life lies in how we consume? Picture a life where each purchase is made with intention and reflection, rather than impulse and societal pressure. The Stoics teach us the importance of mindful consumption, encouraging us to think critically about our desires and what we truly need. This shift in perspective can evoke a sense of happiness as we begin to liberate ourselves from the chains of consumerism. When we approach consumption mindfully, we reclaim our power, making choices that resonate with our values and lead to greater fulfillment. As you explore this idea, nostalgia may remind you of simpler times, when shopping was less about accumulating and more about necessity or enjoyment. Perhaps you recall your childhood, where the thrill of receiving a gift was less about the item itself and more about the thought and intention behind it. The Stoics encourage us to reconnect with this sense of purpose in our consumption, reminding us that material goods are often transient, while the experiences and memories they create can be lasting. This nostalgia can serve as a catalyst for change, urging you to reflect on your consumption habits and how they align with your values. Curiosity emerges as you consider how to implement mindful consumption in your life. What would it look like to approach each purchase with intention? You might start by asking yourself questions like, do I truly need this? How will it enhance my life? Am I buying this to impress others or to fulfill a genuine desire? By cultivating this awareness, you can make choices that are not only aligned with your values, but also contribute to your overall sense of well-being. This curiosity can lead you to explore alternative ways to fulfill your needs, perhaps through experiences, connections or creative pursuits that nourish your soul. Embracing mindful consumption can open up new avenues for happiness and fulfillment, ultimately leading you toward a richer, more intentional life. Number 6. The Four Cardinal Virtues Let's delve into the four cardinal virtues that form the cornerstone of Stoic philosophy wisdom, justice, courage and temperance. Imagine for a moment the feeling of clarity and purpose that comes from embodying these virtues. When we think of wisdom, we often picture moments of insight that illuminate our path, guiding us through life's complexities. It's that light bulb moment when everything clicks and we understand what truly matters. But wisdom isn't just about knowledge, it's about discernment. It's the ability to differentiate between what is fleeting and what is enduring. As we reflect on our own lives, 
We can probably recall times when we made decisions that were less than wise, perhaps influenced by external pressures or fleeting desires. Now, think back to a moment when you chose wisely, perhaps when you prioritized your well-being over a temporary thrill. That's wisdom at work, recognizing the value of long-term satisfaction over short-term gains. Next, let's talk about justice. This virtue reminds us of our interconnectedness. When we act justly, we contribute to a fairer world. Remember the last time you stood up for someone or helped a stranger? That feeling of satisfaction and connection, of being part of something bigger than yourself, is what justice embodies. It evokes a sense of nostalgia for those moments when we felt our best selves, when we realized that our actions had the power to uplift others. This is particularly resonant in a society where we often feel disconnected, where individualism reigns, yet deep down we crave connection and purpose. Now, moving on to courage. This virtue isn't just about facing physical challenges, it's about living authentically, even when it's uncomfortable. Think of the times you took a leap of faith, whether it was pursuing a dream job, speaking your truth, or ending a toxic relationship. Those moments are often accompanied by fear, yet they can lead to the most profound personal growth. Reflect on how brave you felt in those instances, how you transcended your fears to embrace your true self. This is the essence of courage, the strength to uphold our values in the face of adversity. Finally, we have temperance, the virtue of moderation. In a world that constantly pushes us to excess, more likes, more possessions, more experiences, temperance invites us to find balance. Remember when you indulged in something you loved, perhaps a favorite dessert or a binge-worthy series? It felt good, didn't it? But when we reflect on moments where we overindulged, we often feel a tinge of regret. Temperance helps us cultivate a deeper appreciation for what we have, reminding us that moderation leads to a more satisfying life. It encourages us to savor our experiences, fostering a sense of contentment that resonates deeply within us. Number seven, practical steps to cultivate wealth. Now that we've explored the four cardinal virtues, let's shift our focus to practical steps we can take to cultivate true wealth in our lives. This is where the rubber meets the road. It's easy to admire these virtues from a distance, but how do we integrate them into our daily lives? It starts with self-reflection. Take a moment each day to pause and think about your values and motivations. What drives you? What brings you joy? This practice of introspection fosters a sense of clarity and purpose, allowing you to align your actions with your deepest values. Next, consider incorporating mindfulness into your routine. Imagine starting your day with just a few minutes of mindful breathing. As you take those deep breaths, you begin to center yourself, releasing the chaos of everyday life. This simple act cultivates awareness of your thoughts and emotions, helping you respond rather than react. It's about creating space for your inner voice to be heard, fostering a sense of calm amid the storm of external pressures. Engaging in philosophical study can also deepen your understanding of life and its complexities. Whether it's reading Stoic texts or exploring modern interpretations, immersing yourself in these teachings can ignite a sense of curiosity. Think back to a book or article that changed your perspective, that spark of curiosity can lead to transformative insights. It's about expanding your horizons, embracing the wisdom of those who have walked the path before you. As you continue this journey, seek out challenges that test your courage and resilience. Maybe it's taking on a new project at work, signing up for a class outside your comfort zone, or volunteering in your community. Each challenge you face is an opportunity to grow stronger, to discover new facets of yourself. Embrace these moments as they come, knowing that they contribute to your inner wealth. Finally, practicing kindness and service 
can cultivate a profound sense of justice and connection. Reflect on how good it feels to lend a helping hand or to be there for a friend in need. These acts not only uplift others, but also enrich our own lives. They remind us of our shared humanity, creating bonds that transcend superficial differences. Number eight, the importance of self-mastery. Let's explore the crucial concept of self-mastery. Picture the exhilaration of being in control of your emotions and desires, of making choices that align with your true self. Self-mastery isn't about suppressing our feelings, it's about understanding and channeling them in constructive ways. Think back to a time when you faced a challenging situation. Did you react impulsively or did you pause, reflect and choose a response that resonated with your values? This ability to master ourselves is what sets us on the path to true wealth. Consider the emotional highs and lows we experience in our daily lives. In moments of anger or frustration, it's easy to lose sight of our principles. But when we practice self-mastery, we cultivate resilience. We learn to step back, take a deep breath, and assess the situation with clarity. This emotional regulation allows us to respond thoughtfully, turning potential conflicts into opportunities for growth. The journey towards self-mastery is not a linear one, it's filled with ups and downs. There will be times when we stumble, when our desires overwhelm us. But remember, every setback is an opportunity for reflection and growth. Embrace these moments as part of your journey. They teach us invaluable lessons about ourselves, helping us refine our character and deepen our understanding of what truly matters. Self-mastery also enhances our relationships. When we can control our reactions, we create a space for empathy and understanding. Think of how different your interactions could be if you approached each conversation with intention and awareness. This shift not only enriches your connections with others, but also fosters a deeper sense of self-respect. Number nine, embracing discomfort for growth. Next, let's embrace the idea of discomfort as a catalyst for growth. It might sound counterintuitive, but think about it. The most transformative moments in our lives often arise from stepping outside our comfort zones. Imagine the exhilaration of trying something new, like speaking in public or traveling alone. At first, it's daunting. Your heart races, your palms sweat. But as you push through that discomfort, you discover strength you didn't know you had. Reflect on your own experiences with discomfort. Perhaps you remember a time when you faced your fears and emerged stronger on the other side. Those memories are powerful reminders of our capacity for growth. Embracing discomfort teaches us resilience and adaptability, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with grace. Consider the stoic practice of voluntary discomfort where individuals intentionally expose themselves to challenges to build resilience. Picture setting aside a week to live simply, eating basic meals, limiting luxuries, and refraining from indulgences. At first, it may feel restrictive, but soon you might find that your appreciation for the little things deepens. This practice fosters gratitude and reminds us that our well-being doesn't depend on excess. As you reflect on these experiences, allow yourself to feel the emotions associated with growth. The thrill of accomplishment, the warmth of gratitude, the connection to your true self. These are the rewards of embracing discomfort. They remind us that we are capable of more than we often realize. Number 10. Finding richness in simplicity. Finally, let's explore the richness found in simplicity. In our fast-paced, consumer-driven world, it's easy to become overwhelmed by the endless pursuit of more, more possessions, more achievements, more validation. But what if the key to true wealth lies in the opposite? Picture a life where you intentionally simplify, where you focus on what truly enriches your existence. 
Think back to moments in your life where simplicity brought you joy, a family gathering, a quiet afternoon in nature, or a heartfelt conversation with a friend. These experiences often hold more meaning than any material possession ever could. Embracing simplicity allows us to cultivate a deeper appreciation for what we have, fostering a sense of peace that transcends external circumstances. Reflect on the concept of minimalism. It's not just about decluttering our physical spaces, it's about decluttering our minds and hearts. When we let go of excess, we create room for what truly matters, meaningful relationships, personal growth, and inner peace. Imagine the freedom that comes with letting go of societal expectations, of prioritizing experiences over things. This shift can evoke a profound sense of relief and clarity. As you ponder the beauty of simplicity, allow yourself to feel the nostalgia of cherished moments spent without distractions. The laughter of friends, the warmth of family, the beauty of a sunset. These are the treasures that enrich our lives. They remind us that true wealth isn't found in accumulation, but in connection and presence. In this journey towards redefining wealth, let curiosity guide you. Explore what simplicity looks like in your life. Perhaps it's about simplifying your daily routine, embracing a minimalist lifestyle, or focusing on the quality of your experiences. Allow yourself to be open to new possibilities, to discover the richness that lies within simplicity. As we wrap up this exploration of true wealth through the lens of Stoic philosophy, I hope you've found insights that resonate deeply with your journey. Embracing the four cardinal virtues, cultivating self-mastery, and finding richness in simplicity can transform our understanding of what it means to live a fulfilling life. Remember, wealth is not measured by possessions, but by the depth of our character and the richness of our experiences. If you've watched this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows you're among the 0.01% who finish what they start. If you're serious about making meaningful changes in your life, don't forget to join our community by subscribing to the channel. Together, we can embark on this transformative journey and create a life filled with purpose and contentment.